right, so I thought we'd talk about The Me You Love in the Dark. This is a book by Scotty Young, and it's one that I just got in a sale one day, uh, sat in my sort of pile of shame for reading, and I just got round to looking at it. And it's a really good book. It's just a one off um, trade that I got, one off, you call it a graphic novel. Um, it was released as singles, but best read as a whole to be honest and it follows an artist named Ro Meadows as she moves into a great big house that is going to help her get on with her next project for an exhibition. She's got I suppose artists block and you soon see that there are these wisps in the air it's a otherworldly presence she kind of half senses it she's not necessarily terrified by it but she is intrigued anyway she begins talking to herself or it uh, and it starts answering back um, obviously that freaks her out she has <laughs> a natural reaction to it but then as the story goes on because she's isolated there with this other being. I'm not saying it's a ghost because it's never really explained what it is. You don't know if it's a ghost, a demon, something else. Um, they begin to form a relationship. And that relationship slowly gets more and more intimate. And she opens up more and more to this being. And she begins to paint and draw and be creative now also well and good but this creature gets massively jealous as well and what you have through the course of this story is the sort of birth development and then death of this relationship between these two parties uh, one gets abusive towards the other to the point of violence and aggression uh, but it's never sort of rammed down your throat because it all happens naturally in each of the different issues or rather chapters of the book and I think it's a really surprising story it's a good story um, and it it flows really well it's, it's got excellent artwork really sort of expressive but still clear you, you know exactly what's happening when where and how uh, I don't like it when books get too nondescript let's say in their artwork uh, and the character feels real there's obviously a level of acceleration in the story because there has to be but uh, I, I really liked it it reminded me in a lot of ways of a podcast I've talked about on here that I really really like called Parkdale Haunt not that that's about a relationship with a ghost in a house but it's got the same feeling about it that's a story that initially starts in a house and it's about friends and, and relationships and such uh, but it's just got a really good feeling uh, I would say check this out if you see it cheap in a sale like I did I'm not sure if it's about to purchase in a paper format um, easily I, I feel it probably is um, if I found it for a reasonable price online while I've been talking then I'll throw, I'd have thrown it up on the screen by now just for you to have a look at but I would say it's certainly worth checking out and it was one that I just kind of slept on picked up as a bunch with a bunch of other stuff because uh, I thought oh that'll do that was cheap uh, and I was really really surprised by it so yeah check it out